Brandon Herrera. So what would you guys like to say everyone? Where Tarkov? Tarkov, meme review. What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back here in the new studio in Texas to do a, I guess a, a meme review. Yeah. This is obviously gonna be a little different than the typical gun meme review as we are doing memes that specifically relate to the game that I have now been obsessed with and playing on Twitch 24 seven, Escape from Tarkov. I'll throw one, fuck oh! Oh, oh, oh wait, shit, shit, I just threw a nade, oh! goddammit! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> you guys have really seemed to enjoy it and I'm calling it at least AK adjacent considering it's a post-apocalyptic Russian game made in Russia and has some beautiful AK porn in it. So yeah, while I wait for a couple of guns to come in that are gonna make for some awesome range content for you guys, let's dive into the Tarkov memes. Trade offer. I receive 2,000 hours of your time. You receive pain. Ah, yes, stonks. To be fair, that also accurately describes my last relationship. It cost me a hell of a lot more than $60. If you're not familiar with the game, these memes are really going to probably convince you that uh, everybody hates this game. Everybody hates playing this game. It causes nothing but just inner malcontent and just pain. That's pretty much the case. But it's extremely fun and very addicting. So that's gonna be, I guess, the theme for a few of these memes. Thinking about playing Tarkov. Playing Tarkov. Yeah, yeah, I know we've used that one before, <laughs> but it's, it's true. So I described it to a friend of mine who's kind of new to the game, just downloaded it, uh, kind of like this. The first few hours that you play Escape from Tarkov, you're just kind of constantly getting face fucked. It's not very fun. However, once you get face fucked enough and you start getting actually better at the game, you can start doing the face fucking. And that part's fun. Escape from Tarkov. Vepper, AKM, AKS, AK-74, AK-47, AKMS, AKS-74, AK-104, AK-101, AK-103, AK-74M, AKMN, AKMSN. Woo! Me. An AK is an AK. Now hold on there. Uh, I kind of appreciate all the delineations that the game makes between the different AK variants. It's a lot of fun. Very realistic, especially all of the, uh, the attachments and everything. You need the real weapon mount. You can't just like super glue a fucking EO tech on top of your uh, your bare bones AK. You need the right optic mount, the, you know, different pistol grips, you know, certain stocks can't go on if you don't have a side folder already. It's really, really pretty, pretty damn accurate. This can also lead to some pretty fucking cursed shit. If you guys like this video, we're probably gonna do a cursed Tarkov gun images where you guys will just submit the most cursed shit that you can build in Tarkov. And I won't feel so bad about it because you're not actually doing it to real guns. And uh, that takes a weight off of my soul, frankly. Moving on, but first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor, of course, being Lords Mobile, who had an interesting challenge for me that I really couldn't turn down. So they're also sponsoring a video today from Kentucky Ballistics. And they're trying to see which one of us can get more of you guys to download. So me and Scott came to an agreement. If his team loses, he has to eat an eggplant. And if I lose, I've got to drop my Makarov into a pot of mac and cheese. You wouldn't want to do that to old Soviet surplus, and I want to see Scott put weird shit in his mouth. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor, and then we'll get into the iPhone and cash giveaways. Lords Mobile is the best strategy game and a perfect game to kill time anytime, anywhere. When you're stuck at home, can't go out shooting, or you feel like gaming, battling, you can enjoy smashing massive armies with a simple tap. In the game, you could choose army, troops, and hero formations the way you want, create a badass city, make alliances with actual real players. You can also be evil in this game and capture, sequester, execute, or even, and I'm not making this up, ransom other players. Nowadays, you can download so many different kinds of games, strategy, RPG, MMO, whatever, but with Lords Mobile, you can experience a great mix of all of them. Now for the $10,000 cash and the six iPhone 12 giveaway. There's two ways to win. Just click the link in the description below, download the game, and help me win. There's also a Might Rank section on the page. You can increase your might by building up your kingdom, leveling up, that sort of thing. After the challenge ends, my top three players, you guys, will win an iPhone 12 each. But aside from that, 10 of you will randomly be selected to win $1,000 cash. Besides the top three might winners, there's also tons of lucky winners who will also be picked to win $1,000 cash each too. If our total might is higher than Kentucky Ballistics, we can have an additional four lucky winners to win $1,000 cash each. And 
Scott has to eat an eggplant. All that could be yours if you just click the link in the description and download the game. You'll already right off the bat be getting a $350 Lord's Mobile gift pack. Literally just for downloading. So help us out. Let's beat Team Kentucky Ballistics. Back to the video. I came looking for folder 0031 and I found Head Eyes. If you've never played the game, that basically means death from somewhere you probably never saw. It's weird. Like every raid, that's what I find too. That's cool. Me, don't peek around that corner. There's a sniper. My teammate. Head Eyes. Ah, don't give me that too soon bullshit that was like 60 years ago. Types of headache. Migraine. Hypertension. Stress. Tarkov. All of these memes sound like I'm shitting on the game. I'm really not. It is a really fun game. It's just really stressful and aggravating and at times makes you want to suck start a shotgun. COD players getting killed. EFT players getting killed. I will never understand Call of Duty Ragers ever again. Oh no, you died and get to respawn with all the same gear. That's fucking cute. I am once again asking if it's you running. <laughs> I swear to God, that's half of playing Tarkov with friends. She said, hey, is that you? Is that you over there in the field? Jump, jump, okay, d do the wiggle. I, j is that, are you sure that's you? D you you're the one with the, the, uh, 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 I'm shooting. It's a good time, honestly. <laughs> hmm, friends in Tarkov. Oh shit, I should get my friends in on this. Hold on, one sec. Well, I need your help. What's up? Uh, Dark Up Meme Review. Go. Let's take it. My PMC watching me equipped with another pistol, no armor, and queuing up for reserve. <laughs> Thanks. I gotta go visit our other friends. Peace. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful evening. We're here uh, playing some Project Zomboid as we normally do. Hey. Oh my hey. god. Dark Up Meme Review. Go. Oh god. Oh, that's really funny. This should be a Jaeger quest. And now, thanks to that meme, uh, we're going to have COVID-19 information banner at the bottom of this video, but yeah. oh well. Get vaccinated, folks. <laughs> thanks, Clink. You're welcome. Bye, Brenda. Okay, let's see. If I were to switch to my KS-23 loadout here. Right. Oh, jeez. Right. Fuck off meme review. Uh, what a really good hatchet run looks like. Oh, oh, hey, I can hatchet. <laughs> ah, graphics card of shoreline. That's like two mil on the fleet now. Okay, I'm gonna need that back though. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Thanks, buddy. I gotta go. Whew, okay. Jesus. All right. Oh, that was a little high effort for this video, but back to the memes. Did you know? In order to play the role of an insane and mentally depressed person in the movie Joker, Joaquin Phoenix played Tarkov for a week. I'd make a reference to him clapping three hatchlings on the subway, but you wouldn't get it. See, it's funny because I did the meme. Like, I did a meme in a meme. Okay. Finally, the 4090 Ti. Now I can play reserve in streets. Speaking of which, I actually just got a 3090 in, which means I can bring the Red Guardian back to life, hopefully tonight, and be playing on the titty computer again. It was a water-cooled unit, and I think during the freeze, the water inside of it expanded and probably fucked up my graphics card. So that's... What we think happened to it. Hopefully this fixes everything. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Actually, if you in the next video you don't see it on the floor um, back behind me in, in pieces, then it means I fixed it. Killing with a vector. It took 80 bullets of 7N31 to kill a TV-110? Stupid meta slave vector, take no skill, learn to aim. Killing with an Ash-12. That ragdoll is so satisfying. And the sound. I thank you for the honorable death. The Ash-12 really does fuck in this game. <laughs> Just because of the armor dynamics and such, uh, it really does, uh, it, it's got some heft to it. I know it's a bullpup, it gets a pass because it's actual Russian and I think it's pretty neat. It's basically like a uh, bullpupped AK in 50 Beowulf. I don't actually like 50 Beowulf, in fact I think it is doo-doo cow, I've been pretty open about that in the past. However, I have thought about making an AK chambered in one just for the meme of having the AK-50 light. Her, come over. Me, I can't. I got shot with Magnum Buck. Her, my parents aren't home. Me. <laughs> as long as those legs work, we run into extract. Or to the house of a girl that still lives with her parents. That's 
getting weirder by the second. Moving on. League of Legends. CSGO. World of Warcraft. Tarkov. I am not a rager at all. Like, I'm not a rage gamer. I don't get fucking pissed off. I don't even get road rage. Unless you really step over the line. I fucking remember you, Susan. Tarkov has got some moments to it that were about the closest I've ever gotten to legitimate rage. Just, you can get so invested in something and then out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I'm not bitter. Me, trying to explain to my girlfriend why I can't spend time with her because Tarkov needs me. Yeah, sorry, babe. <laughs> me and the boys are questing. Like, ah, what can you do? Somehow she's not impressed by how close I am to Kappa. Loving Tarkov. Hating Tarkov. EFT gamers. Crush. Snort. <laughs> I think that one just about sums it up. Those are, those are my feelings about Tarkov. It's fun to meme about hating it, and there's of course some things that could use improvement, but it's really fucking fun. This video is not sponsored by Battlestate Games, however, it probably should be. If you haven't played Escape from Tarkov, by all means go check it out. It's a great game, it's a lot of fun. Still in beta, but I, for a game in beta, it's more fun than most of the games I've ever bought. See, I know this is a little different than the content that you're used to, but if you did like this video, please let me know down in the comments. If you never want me to do any shit like this ever again, also let me know down in the comments. And let me know about that cursed Tarkov gun images video, because I think that might be interesting. Anyways, guys, I think this video has gone on long enough. If you want to watch me play some Tarkov, I should be live as soon as this video comes out. Go ahead and hang out down there at twitch.tv slash Herrera. I'll also leave the link down in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks guys. And let me know about that cursed Tarkov gun images. That's a mouthful. You're just constantly getting face fucked. And it's really not that fun. I'm spitting. Jesus Christ, that was twice in a row. Oh God, let me do that again. I don't include that in the bloopers, man. I just had a great run on Shoreline. Let me just. <sighs> cool, a GPU? Like two mil. On the fleet? Yeah, fuck yeah. Also, if you could... <laughs> the dry run, we need to read the meme first. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Oh yeah, you should probably read that. <laughs> I, I like the enthusiasm for pulling shit out of your ass. I mean, buddy. <laughs> I'm me.